can there be a magnitude 10 earthquake? Fortunately, no. But why? So the magnitude of an earthquake is dependent in part upon the area of the fault that breaks during the earthquake. So the area means the length of the fault, but also the depth of the fault, how far down into the earth the fault goes. Now, the deepest and longest faults on earth occur along subduction zones. A subduction zone is a place where the tectonic plates are coming together and one plate slides down underneath the other. We have seen the largest earthquakes in the world that have ever been recorded occur along these subduction zone boundaries. For instance, the largest earthquake that was ever recorded was in uh, 1960 and it was a magnitude 9.5 in Chile. We also had a magnitude 9.2 in Alaska in 1964, the Good Friday earthquake. We had a magnitude 9.2 in Indonesia in 2005, and we had a magnitude 9 in Japan in 2011. So if we think about the area of a fault that needs to break in order to produce a certain magnitude of earthquake, it follows a logarithmic scale. So a magnitude 4 earthquake breaks or ruptures an area of about 1 square kilometer. A magnitude 5 ruptures an area of about 10 square kilometers. A magnitude 6, 100 square kilometers. A magnitude 7, 1,000 square kilometers. A magnitude 8, 10,000 square kilometers. A magnitude 9, has to rupture 100,000 square kilometers. And we could see this play out in that Japan earthquake that I talked about called the Tohoku Oki earthquake. Researchers were able to determine that a, a part of the fault slipped that was about 500 kilometers long and 200 kilometers deep. So the area of that was around 100,000 kilometers. So that was around a magnitude nine. There just aren't any faults on earth that are big enough, long enough, deep enough to produce a magnitude 10.